squad it's me and keisha i'm here with tonight's all tea all shade underground season two episode five review so we start off this episode with a minstrel show that kato puts together that pisses off some white folks elizabeth writes a, a letter to mr stale i think that's how she pronounced his name she tells him that she cares about the cause and admires georgia's resilient efforts towards peace but john brown's followers make it hard to deny the anger that consumes her since john's death it's a lot of commotion and then Valentini runs up the steps and say the police are coming so she hides him in the little uh compartments in the wall or whatever then she's like Rosalie fuck I gotta go get Rosalie so she steps out into the hallway officer asks her is she Georgia and he uh yokes her up and takes her downstairs so Rosalie hides in the wall while the officers are looking um around for Georgia and any um slaves that they might be keeping so the officers have a warrant for Georgia May's arrest. I think Georgia's arrest. She hides in the background and then she finally gives herself up. Um, as she's being taken into custody, she tells Elizabeth that in the desk is a black envelope. Elizabeth finds the envelopes and sees that it is her freedom papers. I mean, I already knew she was passing and she was mixed. I mean, I didn't even know she was passing. I don't know. So the elder men in the plantation try to shame Steen into admitting to taking the devil's blood and for trying to commit suicide. She tells him that that ain't what you want because then the rest of you all will have to admit what the fuck y'all be around her doing while y'all trying to judge me. So Clara wants Steen to teach her how to get master to give her whatever she wants. Steen says, why? Clara says, what? Hicks done to me. I ain't had no power to stop and I want some. So then we switch to Francis, aka Sexy Master. <laughs> he asks Cato, what is he doing uh, bringing all this attention on himself? He reminds him that they aren't in London anymore. He was happy with Debbie and now he's going to get himself killed. He can't watch himself destruct because Cato was out here living like he Tupac in these streets. Georgia returns from jail and tells Elizabeth they need to move the cargo. Elizabeth tells her she knows that she's passing his white and that if she tells her what's going on, she can help her. Then one of the officers like, hey, nigga, you ain't fooling nobody. We watch you. And I'm like, oh, shit, I told you about letting all these motherfuckers in this house. You can't trust everybody, Georgia. So Patty, the uh, slave catcher who I cannot stand, tells August that all he has to do is get his uh, to get his freedom back is uh, give Rosalie's away. Elizabeth questions Rosa, questions Rosalie about not telling him. Uh, we switched to Ro, uh, Elizabeth. I'm sorry. Elizabeth questions Rosalie about not telling them that she is pregnant and asks why she put her life in danger. Rosalie says that she was already on the road with Moses, learning so much. It didn't seem real at first. Um, if she learned more from Moses, she could have her family back. She needs her family and Moses back. I mean, and Noah back for her and the baby she's scared and she can't do it alone elizabeth tells her you are not alone like i'm your family too i got your back so clara tells steen that master don't like dark skin girls and steen tells her that the hardest part ain't got nothing to do with the way she looks she got more than enough to get somebody into her bed you got to keep them there she says all men feel like nobody likes listens to them shut your mouth and listen that's how you find out what they love and steen is dropping some jews on you hoes if you're trying to catch a man so take notes okay so steen um says you let them teach you about what they love men like to feel like they showing you things ain't nobody else have and lord knows that's the truth clara says i just gotta pretend like i like what he like and she says no you gotta find something real and a lie Clara says, you teach your daughter this young. And Steen says, no, I taught her to keep her head down. I did it so she wouldn't have to do it. And I was like, bitch, you's a good black mother. Steen starts coughing again and has to sit down because, you know, all them opiates and shit is in her chest. She can't breathe right. So Patty cleans August up and tells him that if she's going to let him loose, she'll need a dog that can hunt. Elizabeth plans to ride out with um, her little boo thing as they move cargo georgia is shocked by the risk she's willing to take and elizabeth tells her that georgia is risking their lives to keep her secret georgia tells her that as soon as those men decide to be a part of the movement they put a target on their own backs and that she's lived with one most of her life that there is isn't anything easy about this secret i was like bitch you better read white fish <laughs> so then one of the men tell her that there is a male visitor at the door and so the next thing we see we hear is footsteps coming towards rosalie's bedroom as she's sitting there and then all walks in Noah and I just started bawling crying he looking at her she looking at him they looking at each other like they're a mirage like a figment of each other's imagination they just 
doing like this to each other face like i can't believe you're here is this a dream and she and they get to gently kissing each other and i'm just in tears and i'm like bitch tell them you're pregnant tell them about the baby shit and so then we come back and kato is holding a gathering at his house for friends of the enslaved and free friends of the cause. He tells them the story of how he got his scar and says it reminded him that when you take money out of the pocket of a white man, it's all about the money. They ain't nearly so much as cruel as they are greedy. I'm like, you better speak a word, speak a word, because let's go to that Pepsi commercial with Kendall Jenner that just dropped. So um, he says they uh, are slaves to capitalism. Whew. That's why he offered his home to Mr. Steele. He gives him some money towards the cost and says that this is our weapon. This is how we hurt him and everyone else starts giving donations. I'm like, if people will realize that now here in 2017, that if you take money out the white man's hand, they have no fucking power. So Rosalie tells Noah about riding the train to Canada with Moses. And then she's like, I'm talking too much about myself. What happened to you? Who took you? He says, it don't matter. And then he want to put it all behind them. She then tells him she wants to tell him something. We like, bitch, tell him you're pregnant. Like, show him your belly. And then she chickens out and tells him she's going back to making the making to get mama and James. I'm like, bitch, mama ain't there. She on Gullah Gullah Island. James only there. So she says the train leaves in five days and it'll go down on Christmas. Her mama and um, then Norris reminds her that, you know, plans go wrong, Rosalie. Like, you can't be just so sure. So Steen and Claire go to see the master. And Steen apologizes to him for acting the way she did the other day when she freaked the fuck out. And Clara, she says that Clara helped her make something sweet to thank him. Clara gives him the pie and eyes the horse. And he takes the bait. He falls right into it. He teaches her about, you know, war, ho war horse horses. He asks her if she wants to touch it. The horse then, like, kind of shakes his head and books at her. And she, you know, jumps back. And he laughs at her. And she's like, don't you be laughing at me. And I'm like, bitch, that get you slapped. You better shut up. He tells her the horse is just saying hi. And don't and don't not to be scared. He takes her hand and helps her like rub his, uh, you know, mane or whatever. So Steen is sitting back and she finally told her, look, we got to go. Claire asks, you know, did I do something wrong? And Steen says, no, but you have to leave him one more. I'm like, girl, teach her the ways of your sorcery. So she says, you'll come back later to get the basket after supper. And that's when you'll stay longer. So Elizabeth and Noah talk about Rosalie wanting to go back to Georgia. And Elizabeth says she won't go if you won't go. And he tells her she needs her family, but is worried about going himself. And Elizabeth urges him to tell her how he feels. Kato is having a talk with Frederick Douglass and Mr. Steele when he sees Patty and August into the party. He goes over to them and Patty tells him she just want to talk. She'll be by the bar. Kato then tells his people to watch him. And then one of his men says that Francis is on his way back with a surprise for him from England. He immediately realizes that it's Debbie. So he tells him to make all the motherfuckers leave. So Steen is taking a bath while Clara and Master are making out by the beach. The plan is working. Hicks, Hicks tells Steen that he loves her and he'll never raise his hand to her again. And Steen says, you ain't never raised a hand to me. You don't even know me. And I was like, bitch, you better listen to that double entendre. Bitch, you don't even know me. You don't even know who the fuck I am, nigga. Hicks says, what you mean I don't know you? And she says, you don't even know yourself, fool. This thing we doing hurting each other, we ain't come up with it. We just retell the story they wrote for us. We get hit on. You you get hit on in the fields and have shame and then come hit me and I let you because I get so I got so much shame of my own for things I've done to survive that I think I deserve it mm. he tells her that it's Clara putting a bug in her ear and she says no it's over and he says after all I've done for you you think you something special all the good inside of you used up now you empty I'm like bitch shut your bitch made ass up ugh Chris Brown. So Steve says, you're right. Land in the big house, land with you. The opiates, they all just ways of enduring life instead of living it. I'm done with it all. He pulls out a bottle of opiates and says, no, you ain't. You will be back. And I was like, ooh, I can't stand you, you old pusher. So Elizabeth and her new boo stop in the middle of the night to get some rest while they have the cargo. And Elizabeth says they should keep moving. He doesn't listen. They get ran up on by some hooded men and they tie their asses up to a tree. And he says that he'll brand her if she want to keep helping these niggas out. And she tells him to do it. She's like, yeah, I'm down with the cause. Do it, bitch. I want to die. And he says he'll be watching her and he'll come for her again if she keep it up. 
So Kato goes to talk to Patty in August and Patty tells him that they're looking for Rosalie. Kato says, if you're looking to find her, I can tell you the first steps. Get out my house. And Patty then pulls a gun on him, but then realizes that they're surrounded by all of his men. They then start shooting at each other. But Patty and August are expert gunsmen, so they get the best of all of Kato's men. So now Kato is left by himself. They put a knife up to his neck and demand info about Rosalie. And he tells them that they got to get to her mama in order to get to her because that's the only person that she loves and i'm like oh your bitch ass talk too much so francis and debbie then appear and sexy master sexy butler gets shot and killed and i'm like no and then they snatch debbie ass up and i'm like you should stay your ass over there in london so noah then tells rosalie that neither of them are the same people they once were he tells her that his first choice as a free man is her and gives her the ring and i'm just melting i'm like bitch Tell him you're pregnant, but she don't. She takes the ring, and I'm crying. She crying. So he says he'll follow her wherever she goes. Then they set out to get Steen. August and his men set out to get Steen, too. And we see Steen on the beach getting high when Clara walks up to her and tells her that it worked with Master and that he want to keep on fucking with her. And Steen say, great, because you're going to use Master to get me up off this motherfucking island, bitch. I ain't teach you the ways of my sorcery for nothing. So everybody is out to get Steen, baby. Steen is motherfucking grand prize, bitch. Oh, my God. Tonight's episode was so good. It was just so heartfelt, so beautiful. I cannot wait to watch it again. I give tonight's episode A+. plus. Let me know down below what you thought of tonight's episode. What was your favorite part? What part had you on the edge of your seats? If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Please hit that like button. Um, and I just love you guys so, so very much. Hope you all enjoyed this review. I'm finishing up Cranes in the Sky. It's almost done. I get back to regularly scheduled programming. Get back to my glam shit during the week. I love you guys so much. And I will see you all next week for next week's review. Love you. Bye.